Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here with another quick video on the uh, mini rack loaded envelope series. Um, things that you can give as a gift and embellishments and things you can stuff inside a loaded envelope. So my project is going to be gifted to someone as a thank you gift. So I'm going to keep it pretty small, quick and simple. So we're using again uh, the Havana paper collection, which we have been using this whole time. And here are the other two items that we made. I'll put the link in the description box for the video for this bag of um, completed bag toppers or treat bag toppers. And then, and then also we made this beautiful set of um, butterfly, dimensional butterfly embellishments, glittered and really super cute, shabby and sparkly. So let's get started with what we're making today. So I'm using, uh, I'm making some small envelope embellishments. I will put a link in the description box to some videos that you can make your own handmade tiny embellish embellishments. Um, I've also cut out some embellishments, uh, envelope, little tiny envelopes from my Silhouette Cameo, which I've done before. Um, but this time I'm going to use this really cute die that I got online and it's a small envelope with a little note card insert. So I've already cut it out. It comes like this. I think these are super cute to use as embellishments or the recipient can put these little envelopes on a card or like a gift card or small card and go on about their merry way. So I'm going to stamp it too as well with the sentiment, but you don't have to do that. You can leave it blank, um, like put a white sheet of paper in there as your die cut and leave it blank so that the recipient can do their own message if they like inside the envelope. So I think that's a plus too, but seeing as though I'm making things that I want the recipient to be ready to use right away, I am going to pre-stamp um, sentiments on my tiny embellishments. So I'm just using some art glitter glue to hold these or put those pieces together. And then I am going to use this stamp set. It's a tiny little um, sentiment stamp set, set that I like. And I'm actually going to use, um, you look fabulous. I think, yeah, I think we'll use some little sentiment. You look fabulous. You could print off, if you don't have any tiny sentiments, you could print off tiny words in Word and then make your own little tiny little sayings that you want to say. Also, Hobby Lobby has some word books that you could use as well. I'm just going to stamp. You look fabulous and I'm stamping toward the top so that it could show through when I put it on the inside of the envelope. I used uh, some Ranger ink in Raven to stamp that. And then this is just going to go right here on the inside. And it's a general statement so you can use that for anything. So you look fabulous, it's on there. And then I'm also going to uh, punch a couple of flowers. I'm going to use this, I don't know what kind, EK Success, little tiny flower punch. And I'm going to use a scrap, scratch, some of my, oops, some of my leftover piece of paper from the collection. Just my scraps. And I'm going to add some bling to the center. Of this thing this has been really handy in this in uh, this paper collection it's a sticker sheet from the paper studio in copper so I love it so inside where did my punch go all right <clears throat> inside this little flower I'm gonna add this bling strip and I somehow have dropped my punch, so I'm going to punch one more piece. Try to keep control of it this time. And I'm using this little thing because these little bling pieces are tiny. So I'm just going to add that to the middle. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to use this as well. It's, it's a multi-use tool. I'm going to use this to curl up the edges. You can do that with your fingers or not. You don't have to. And I'm going to do that for both of them real quick, just to give it a little bit of texture. Add a dot of the glue to the back. Just 
stick that down and then I do the second one stick that down okay and then I'm going to add a dimensional um, pop dot or pop dot to the back of this embellishment there so they could use it to post up on a card and it's already it's already ready for them and the pop dots are the sticky thumb and I got these from Tuesday morning from AC American Crafts all right so that's that one turned out really cute and then I already made two more this one says this hug is for you and this one says hello gorgeous all done have the pop dots on them and everything so um, I'm going to bag them up really quick. I cut out a heart cheat topper. This is using that magnolia die. And I'm going to keep them on a narrow strip because I, I want my envelope to have some type of movement. So not everything is square blocky. So that's why I'm going to cut these into a narrow um, piece of paper. And use the same bag I've already cut this down it's like two and a quarter and how I'm going to do this I think I'm just going to fold this over just like so so I'm going to go ahead and apply these to the back in a nice little line and uh, we'll be done these are all cute little gifts that you can give really quick and easy we're, we're pummeling through this rather quickly let me make sure okay just want to make sure that fits and I'm gonna cut it right about here okay this one is a little off-center it's gonna drive me nuts And put this in so that the package opens from the bottom. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the plastic bag at the top off just to meet the dimensions of the bag. You see? So then when I fold it over, they can the recipient can still open it. Not too much and I'm going to use a clear piece of tape to hold that down and you can always put like washi or something over that but you can't see it so just bottom off and fold it over I'm going to leave a little extra give so that this can fall down. I can put my tag at the top. Cute. How cute that is. I love this paper. All right. And a little topper. I'm going to move it down just a little bit more. I have the room, so I'm going to move it. Maximize my top space. All right, and that can go just like that. But I'm gonna add an embellishment to this <clears throat> using this embellishment box from the swap. I'm gonna use this bow. On the top here. And this butterfly put right in the middle. And 
now we just have to attach it so I find some tape because I have not plugged up my hot glue gun so which would be ideal right now but let me get a piece of tape really quick and a little piece in the front and we can just attach it down all right and then we are all done look how cute that looks you guys can see it's such a bright white in here but look how cute that looks really fun all right so now we're down to down three embellishments i think that looks super cute all right guys i hope you guys will try this i will see you guys next time like the video if you like it bye